A narcissist always wants their victims to stay disconnected from reality. They want their victims to live in an illusion, a facade, so that the control becomes easy. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional and today I'll be covering five secrets that a narcissist does not want you to know. Number one, there is nothing wrong with you. Throughout the course of the relationship, a narcissist keeps pointing out the flaws and faults in your personality, in your behavior, in this and that. They are always ingrateful regardless of what you do and how much you do it and in what capacity you do. And as a result, what you start feeling and believing as a victim is that maybe it's me who is not trying enough. There must be something wrong with me, which is why I can never satisfy them. And this is what they want to happen. But the truth is, everything that they blame you for is the projection of their real reality, of who they are internally. And they want you to believe that it's something that is wrong with you but in reality it's something that is wrong with them the truth is that there is nothing wrong with you there was nothing wrong with you it was the narcissist's bottomless pit within the void that was that could never be filled with anything regardless of what you or someone else did number two they are afraid of you seeing through them, seeing who they are for real. The biggest reason why a narcissist's life is so secretive is because they live a double life. Their whole life is about pretense. They wear a mask and want to come across as someone who is confident, who is charming, who is adorable, who is this and that, who is powerful and whatnot. But if you were to look inside, you would find a narcissist to be the weakest person you have ever met and they do not want you to know that because if you know the reality they would lose all the power which is why they invest so much effort so much time into creating and maintaining that facade number three one of their biggest fears is the fear of rejection on one hand a narcissist may come across as someone who is not afraid of being left alone. They may come across as someone who want to live an independent life. But on the other hand, if you were to look into the reality, they are the most afraid of being left alone. Which is why they have multiple sources of supply in their bag at one given time. Because they just want to have it. They just cannot take the risk of being left alone. For a narcissist, being left alone is not less than the ego death. Number four, their personality is nothing but a continuously crumbling defense system. Narcissists are narcissists because they live under the facade that they have created, which we call as false self. False self is a projection, a mask, a, an image that is sent out to the world to pretend or to, to, to make the world see an illusion. An illusion which where a narcissist pretends to be all powerful, all magnificent, all this, all that. And the true self is hidden under or behind this false self and this true self is basically who they do not want to address if someone takes the responsibility of going inside and doing the inner work they have to take the responsibility of taking care of this of working through this working around it which is what narcissists do not want to do and which is why they cover it with the false self but what happens is that they cannot maintain this false self throughout and it comes crumbling down with time and you know ultimately there is collapse ultimately this facade is destroyed which is why i said that 
the narcissistic personality disorder is just a crumbling defense mechanism that does not last them a lifetime. Number five and the most important fear that they are afraid of is you stepping into your power. The narcissist wants their victims to feel weak and powerless, to have low self-esteem, low self-worth, so that it becomes easy for them to control the victim, so that the victim stays in the trap that the narcissist has created, the prison the narcissist has constructed for them. They do not want you to step into your power because that would ultimately mean the loss of control and hence the loss of supply. I hope today I was able to help you understand what narcissists are afraid of and why they are afraid of what they are afraid of. I will talk with you soon. Till then, let the healing begin.